Uh, Chairman, uh, uh, Commissioner, uh, colleagues. Uh, Commissioner, the Commission has uh, made a number of important impetus in the direction of uh, European Energy Union. Energy Union. And by the way, I think that uh, this House uh, backs this initiative, uh, uh, at least in its majority. Uh, yet, we have a project that you have uh, described, you have described the implications. And I do appreciate many of those that you have described uh, were in fact of uh, negative nature. They are clearly downsides. The Commission acknowledges that. In other words, we have a project which uh, clearly is uh, not heading in the direction of the Energy Union, but even more, it is splitting the European Union. So a unity that we need in order to be able to back the energy union, we are fragmenting already now before we have even started uh, to dwell on concrete legislative proposals. And for me, this is uh, yet uh, another confirmation that apart from all the economic arguments or lack of those that have been mentioned by my colleagues, that this is a welcome news to Kremlin because Kremlin is a part of a deal which is splitting the European Union. So the implications are very concrete. Now, you have mentioned the downsides, and you were more explicit than ever so far. But I think that we need to embark from here on to a clear-cut, strong position what will happen next when a Nord Stream 3 or any other project will come around. Uh, Mr. Chairman, I'll stop here, and I need to extend also apologies that I have to leave for another meeting that I'm late for, but uh, I, I'm sure that uh, colleagues will, will take uh, care of that, and the Commission will reply to a number of the questions which we jointly share. Thank you.